Today's podcast is brought to you by Quantrix Modeler Introductory Training, teaching the fundamental foundation that you need to become a Quantrix Master. Go to gumroad.com forward slash lowercase l forward slash Quantrix Training to learn more. Hey, welcome back to another Netcast. I'm Rich Lopez, Quantrix Authority. Sincerely appreciate you joining me today for episode number 177. Descriptors do not slice categories. I've put this in as an enhancement request. This is in response to a question asked to me at quantrix30 at gmail.com by Robert. He had a model where he wanted to do something very similar to what I'm going to show you today. And as I understand it, Quantrix cannot do this. I don't say that very often because I think Quantrix can do almost anything. And it can do almost anything like beautifully and automagically, but it can't do this. So certainly this is an enhancement request that I've put in with uh, James Kipling, Mike Salisbury, and the folks at Quantrix. Robert had a, you know, uh, a very uh, basic question he wanted answered. And I've kind of simplified it here to maybe a more relevant ans- uh, more relevant scenario that would meet, uh, you know, generally uh, the audience's needs. So let's say that we have a category here of year and month, okay? And what we want to do is we want to have a couple descriptors in here that list the first day of the month. Or maybe it's the 15th day of the month, but in this example, it's the first day of the month. Okay, so we would want to see it as 2017-1-1 uh, or 1-0-1-2017. Okay, so how do I do this? Well, in theory, you, you would think that this ought to be pretty straightforward, but it really starts to break down when I start to add more years to the model. And I have 2018 uh, month one it will not bring in 2018 month one as you can see here if i were to add another year it will not do it for 2019 it sticks with 2017 and the reason why it does that is because descriptors cannot slice multiple dimensions within quantrix so uh, i've tried this uh, numerous different ways to figure this out so why these different ways here and I have a few of them listed here in formulas that are like with try one try two and try three where I'm using uh, you know a helper matrix over here of matrix two I'm doing some value at you know trying to do some triangulation or at least some offset uh, type functionality rather with it cannot get it to work Uh, also I'm trying some concatenation of just simply looking at the year and the month and throwing a one in between them trying to get it to work that also does not work I mean it works in the formulas right again it works in all these formulas but when I plug these formulas into my expression within uh, managing descriptors and I say click add and I go ahead and I put it in here with expressions it will not work so uh, maybe there's a a master out there like Sao Don who has experience making this happen but again I I did talk with Mike Salisbury he said hey it doesn't look like this is quite possible so again this is an enhancement request so I know that Quantrix can do a lot of things but as of today it cannot slice uh, multiple uh, it cannot slice descriptors across multiple categories but hopefully they'll be able to make this enhancement request anyway uh, sorry Robert couldn't answer your question but uh, one of these days once they get this enhancement in I like to think I will be able to answer it here on the podcast so please keep coming back and keep asking me more questions anyway if you have any questions about Quantrix I hope that you will reach out to me at quantrixauthority at gmail.com I absolutely love Quantrix I'm hungry to help you with Quantrix Modeler I really am uh, you can ask me any question for free and I will try to answer it, it won't cost you anything here on the podcast so please ask me questions and uh, please join me again for another episode of Quantrix Authority with Rich Lopez.